A most common condition in blood vessel is gonna discussed in this video. While entering the video just press the subscribe icon. We will publish videos of many important medical conditions in a weekly. Your subscription will give you immediate notifications of our videos. Today videos is about varicose veins. It is a most common condition seen in older adults around 25 to 50 percentage of people. It is often seen in females than males. Varicose veins are commonly caused by weakened and damaged walls and defected valves of veins. The causes for being damaged is due to the increased intraluminal pressure. It means increased pressure of blood inside the veins in many reasons. It is a structural disorder of veins. The valves in the veins allow a one-way direct ion of blood flow. When the valves became defected, the valves failed to block the revis flow. Varicose veins is characterized by tortuous and dilated vein. It is found uncomfortably visible clearly at any region of the body, but it is commonly found behind the legs. The superficial veins of legs are more prone to get varicose, because these veins are more superficial to muscles. So more chances to find this condition on great and short saphenous veins. Complications of varicose veins. It feels sometimes pain, itching, aching and swelling. Severe complications includes ulcerations, thrombophlebitis, bleeding, and skin changes. The veins are blood vessels that carries deoxygenated blood from all over the body to heart, through the venous system. The blood in the veins of lower limb have much more pressure than the veins present in upper limb. Because the veins of the lower limb has to carry the blood from deeper and lower parts in the body. And it has to flow in an upward direction and against the gravity so that it has more pressure. If the pressure decreased, the blood congested, and it may lead to edema. This congested and visible veins are often found in legs and thigh. Yet this condition is common in any regions of the body. But the legs are more often to be affected. Anatomically the veins are more thinner and have higher elastic property than arteries. So the interluminal pressure inside veins makes its diameter increased or became swollen. The valves of veins prevent backflow of blood to pool. The weakened valves lose its capacity to prevent backflow. So the blood flow became slower and sometimes it get deposited. This condition leads to induce the system homeostasis to increase the pressure in veins by various means. Like effects of vasoconstricted and vasodilators in the body. Some important causes for the condition are Obesity. In an obese person, it needs increased intraluminal pressure of veins to carry blood in a tight and fatty body. In some cases the cholesterol present in them. That may block the blood stream. Pregnancy. Pregnancy and multiple pregnancy is another cause. Because during pregnancy the abdominal pressure gets increased due to enlarged uterus, this compress the veins and vessels present in abdomen and pelvis. And finally it leads to a poor venous return from the lower limb. Prolonged stand or sitting. In these positions the venous return becomes little harder and slowened, because the direction of blood is in anti-gravity. Previous diseases. Blood clot. It recorded with some causes as post-injury, accidentally and surgical mean. Chronic constipation. During constipation, we force our body by increasing the intra-abdominal pressure in order to eliminate feces and any other functions which put excessive pressure on legs and abdomen leads to varicosities. And being sedentary is the important cause. Because, in a sedentary lifestyle the muscles are used in a very lower extent, those muscles exhibit a poor pumping action on blood. And don't forget to check the channel for more videos. And share this video to your people. And comment your opinions.